like I'm gonna get emotional. It's a Studio McGee chair. He's sitting there like big boy in big boy chair. Morning, it is Friday and today is the last day at my corporate job, I guess you could say. I am nervous, I'm excited, I'm emotional, I'm feeling all the things, but I, more than anything, I'm just, I'm excited and I feel really grateful to have worked for such a great company um, and I'm really just excited and ready to see where this next journey takes me. So. I need to get ready really quick. I'm um, drinking my coffee. It is 5.40 now. I like to leave here by 6. So I need to get on that. But yeah, cheers. Here's to my last day. Light is on me. I can say I have no parts have no lines. Okay, I'm trying to find a cute outfit. I wanted to do something a little different. I'm considering this. I just, this is a little out of my comfort zone for work. Um, it's not, again, I mean, we don't have like a dress code. So some days we do leggings, <laughs> and then some days some of us wear stuff like this or more like formal, business formal, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's just a little different. I'm not sold on the shoes. I wish the shoes had were brown. Um, but I don't know. It's so fun. I actually got this outfit inspo off of Free People. So the shirt is from Amazon and the jumper is from Kurenko. Okay, I'm running late so I gotta be quick. I am gonna stick with the jumpsuit. Um, put my hair in this clip and it has black and brown in it so I feel like it kind of ties it all together and put on my jewelry we're gonna hit the road so let's go I have my lipstick phone I'm back on my liquid IV kick I just feel like it kind of just like helps my immune system I've not been getting much sleep so got that my Ray-Bans my coffee and my Stanley here we go I'm getting my playlist and my podcast queued up for my drive, my very last drive to Columbia to the office. I'm just one of those people that I am very a attached to things. I get very emotional and attached and I am somebody that puts like a lot of thought and a lot of meaning behind things. So this being my last trip to the office is just kind of hitting and it just feels it, it feels sad but it feels right it feels like I'm ready for something new so that being said I am listening to a podcast it is the Ed Mindlet podcast it's called the lonely road to success and this could not be any more perfect for this very drive right here I mentioned in my last video the I'm quitting video if you guys haven't already watched that definitely watch it it's kind of long and chatty but I just you know talked a lot about what I feel called to do and you know I I'm quitting this job because I I know in my heart I have a bigger purpose for my career than what I'm doing right now so I just, I know that it feels right and this podcast is giving me the encouragement that I need. So if you're somebody that's dealing with a similar issue or just something that like you feel lonely because you're like trying to grind it out, do the work and you know, be successful in your own way and you just feel lonely as shit, this is the podcast for you. So it's Ed Milet and it is called the lonely road to success i'm pretty sure you can watch it on youtube i love watching his youtube videos he actually just had one with matthew mcconaughey and it was amazing jackson and i watched it in bed one night 
and Jack's not as big into podcasts as I am, but he really liked that one. And then you can also listen to it on the podcast app, or I think it's also available on Spotify. I'm not for sure. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, I'm going to stop chatting and I'm going to listen to my podcast, watch the sunrise come up. I've got my coffee ready and yeah, I'm just going to have a morning. Got upset finishing off some stuff on my email and kind of just closing out of all of my accounts on this laptop because I am giving this laptop back to the company. It's nine o'clock now. I have a steady, easy morning. It's not been too crazy busy. So I'm working on a little project. I'm putting these sunglasses in these bags because I have nothing else better to do. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. All right, you guys. Well, I'm leaving the office and I really can't think about it too much because I feel like I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> but, I know this is a good thing and I'm excited to see where life takes me but you know when certain things certain chapters of your life end it just it's emotional and I'm not really sad about the job necessarily I liked my job but like I'm not that's not what I'm sad about I'm more so sad about the connections and the people that I've met through the job that have really been a light in my life for the past two and a half years because that's how long I've been with this company and not having contact with them on a regular basis anymore is going to literally feel like a breakup to me. Uh, it's just sad. It's sad that I'm like one of those people, maybe most people wouldn't care or it wouldn't bother you as much but like it definitely does me and I just feel really emotionally attached um, to these people and they've been amazing to me so for that I'm sad I am excited for this next chapter for sure and to make new connections and all of that I just I'm just kind of sad <laughs> but it'll be fine. You guys, I'm actually bawling like a baby in my car. I'm home and I'm much better. I just changed my clothes really quick. And I'm really excited because I left the office early. I was going to be over 40 hours if I didn't take off early today. So I left a little early and Jack and I are going to go on a little day date before we go pick Callan up from daycare. He has a half day at work today too. So, so once Jackson gets off of work, I think we're going to go grab a couple drinks, an appetizer. I'm starving. It's one o'clock and I have not had lunch yet. And then we are going to get a couple's massage today. I have one booked for the both of us at three. And I'm super excited for that. I feel like we both need it. It'll be fun. Also, when he gets off work, he's supposed to run over to the store for me. I don't know if he'll be able to do it before he comes home or if he will go together, but we're gonna go pick up some furniture that I got secondhand and I'm really, really excited. It is potentially for a future lake house. So I can't wait to get that but yeah that's a quick little rundown I'm wearing just like a super simple outfit because I just want to be comfortable and also with getting a massage I just 
you guys know how it is. I don't want to have to take a ton of stuff off. So I'm just wearing a crop leggings. And I'll just throw on some shoes. Okay, that massage was the best ever. I just got out of the shower and I'm feeling so good. We sat in the sauna with a couple of beers and just relaxed. Jack is outside, whoops. Jack is outside waiting on me, but I felt so good, like 100%. So we made it back home. I realized I didn't really vlog too much after we left the spa we ran and got Callan and then we picked up my furniture and I'm going to show you guys really quick well, here is the two chairs that I got and then you can kind of see this little table it comes with these cushions I don't know if I'm going to reupholster them or not they're not horrendous by any means but I feel like I might want to go with a more ivory color but I think this is so cute and then also come on buddy It is this really just fun sage green and I love it. My other desk didn't have any drawers so this one's going to be super handy to have some drawer space. I don't necessarily need this desk in here anymore since I'm not working from home but because I do my wedding photography I'm still going to utilize this space for that. I'll just have my laptop and everything. I took all of my camera equipment to the office, obviously, because that was the company's equipment. Also, if you can hear the laundry going, I just started a load of laundry. Jackson just left to go get some dinner. There's like an Italian place right down the road from us. So we just ordered takeout because after our massage, we cannot be bothered to make dinner. So we're gonna have some dinner, some Italian he's gonna have pot or I'm gonna have pasta and a salad and he's gonna have a pizza But yeah, I think we're just gonna have a really chill night. I feel so relaxed It's like 6 30 7 o'clock now and Callan is asleep So we're gonna eat dinner and just enjoy our evening Today we since we got off work a little early. We wanted it to be like a day date we really haven't done it too often since we've had Callan so we really want to make it a priority to have like little dates and today was like perfect it was so fun and I feel so relaxed so cannot wait to eat my dinner hang out with him just have a good evening and see this pizza oh the cutest little salad and the dressing and Oh, they have the same boxes as Disney's. Oh, yum. <gasps> Mother budgers. Will you eat it still? Yeah. I'm sorry. They put onions on the pizza. <laughs> Both of you. Oh. I can't decide what I want um, drink wise. Do you want pork? Um, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna do. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what this tortellini looks like. I normally never get stuff like this to go, but it looks pretty, pretty yum. Mmm. 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 I also have a freaking honking zit appearing on my face. Baby, I still love you. I am heading out. It's the next day. I normally don't get very many Saturdays to myself. I normally do wedding photography on Saturdays. And this month, three out of the four weekends this month, I have had a wedding to video, which I'm not complaining about. I love it. But I just don't get a lot of Saturdays to do what I want to do. So. Callan's not feeling the best, um, nothing crazy. He just has like a cough and he's teething. So 
he's sleeping now and Jack is gonna watch him and I'm just gonna go out and about I think I'm gonna spend the next two hours just either walking around Target or Home Goods. we have a surplus store here now so I want to just like take the morning and just have some me time because I don't get it very often and I um, yeah I'm just gonna do that I have to be back in around two hours because we have plans at noon so let's go so I realized I failed at vlogging while I was out I didn't have my camera and I just was not thinking about pulling my phone out but I hit the jackpot so I'll show you a little bit of what I bought because I'm starting my new job Monday I got these cute little trousers from Marshalls and they were $24.99 and they come with the belt. I think they're so cute. And then I got a black pair that just has the button and zip. Love that. And then I got just a plain white tee. You can never have enough one of the of these. And this one's like super thick. And this guy. Very cute. Perfect. Office attire. <laughs> Slacks. I mean. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, they're not really slacks, but... These bad boys, I'm so excited about. So excited. I normally don't go for a white shoe. Babe, which color do I wear with a shirt? Gray or tan? Tan. tan. And then I would change your hat. Yeah. Oh. Why is he, baby? <sighs> <laughs> in the praise songs he was singing to his lord Born in church fathers you Amen. hear me my core memory as a child was hearing my dad worship god see and have awe and wonder and excitement about what god's doing and this is this idea of awe and gratitude and generosity and thankfulness celebration is what morning it's sunday i'm gonna do a little sunday reset today I start my new job tomorrow and I'm really excited so me and Jack are gonna spend the day getting the house and everything prepped for it um, woke up this morning had a slow morning we actually ended up watching church from home because Callan has been waking up really really early like 3 a.m. 4 a.m. and not wanting to go back to sleep until later so we watched church early this morning and we just kind of got ready for the day threw my hair back and put on just like a cash outfit. I just got these sorrel tennis shoes and I'm obsessed. They're so cute. So I'm wearing these and yeah, we're going to have ourselves a little Sunday reset. So let's go. <laughs> Now this is what I call a freaking Sunday reset. We got a lot of stuff. Stuff for salads. I got Celsius for this week. We need to fix that wall. I'm just realizing there's um, yeah, I don't know if that's what it's called. Dill, I'm huge on dill right now because it's making my salads way, way better. I got that idea from um, the Belly Market in Colombia. I got these, which I love. 
They're the Oh Snap Pickles, the bag of pickles. I'm going to take these to lunch with me. Formula for Callen, rice, taco stuff, eggs because I'm going to make egg bites, everything. And then a bunch of meat that Jack already put in the um, deep freeze. We just ate a quick lunch. I put all the groceries away. This is the most satisfying thing in the world to me. I love it. And now we're gonna do a little project. I came across these lights, these sconce lights that I've been wanting and we found them for a really good deal. And I'm really excited about them. This is what they look like. And we're gonna put them one on each side. And I think it's gonna look real cute. And then, yeah, I'm gonna put these down. And I think the way I want this to happen is I want them. Put it right them in here, the center of this. It because can't be, it can't be, it'll be too big. Too wide. Aww. It's gonna look funky if not. Dang, the little. I was kind of think, I was think, looking at that earlier. It won't be centered with a, with a nightstand, so then. Another thing, I haven't showed it yet, but actually I showed the desk. Um, yesterday, whenever I was out and about, I didn't film it, but one of the things that I got was this chair, and I'm so, so excited about it. It's a Studio McGee chair, and it's really, really comfy. It makes me a little sad because starting tomorrow, I'm not going to be working in here every day like I was. But I still am going to have my wedding videos and like my videography business is booming. So I'm still going to be spending a lot of time in here. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get this room a little bit more. It's one of my favorite rooms actually in the house because of that wall where we did the, what do you call that? It's not B-board, but board, board and batty. Board and batten. Yeah. Um, and with the picture frames and stuff, it's my favorite in the house, but it's just hard. It's hard to get the bedding right because they don't have, um, I don't have a headboard, but in a dream world, I would love a headboard in here. Two sconce lights on both sides. We're going to take these shelves down today because I feel like it's a lot going on and I want this wall to be the moment and not the shelving. Um... It would be cool if those shelves were shorter and the the closet door wouldn't hit it and like have something here, you know? But I feel like the it'll hit it, don't you? Hmm. Sure you don't wanna these things are kinda handy to I'm working anymore. I have a lot of work and work to do in here. This room is definitely taking the most energy from the both of us. Yeah, done pretty much. You got moved in. Did I boop away? Well, you are big. <laughs> You're big. You're too big. Ah. Wow. Ah. Day. Hi, buddy. You sitting up like a big boy in a big boy chair. Whoa! Whoa! You're crazy. Don't be leaning too far. Uh, ah! Uh, oh. Goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Yeah. There you go. It's a pretty big chair for you, buddy. Wow. Right. So I'm a vlog failure. I keep forgetting to pull out my camera, but we decorated this room today. We did several things and I'll show you. So first things first, Jackson, I'll explain what he's doing in a little bit, but he's in the kitchen right now. First things first, we did this bedroom. I kind of like it. It's kind of a vibe. We had to put the desk here because there's just not enough room on either one of these walls. 
it was just super tight so I ended up putting the desk at the foot of the bed the sconce lights turned out really really cute and they are just like plug-in lights and you just turn them on and super cute so Jack did that and then yeah the desk setup is here I have this rug that I purchased secondhand that I'm super excited about I love how girly and fun it is and then I put the chair in this little corner and I figure it might be good to just kind of like sit read I can bring my laptop here and edit I don't know super cute but anyway there's that room and then as for this I got this fun little light also one of those it's just like a little plug-in and we put it in the corner in Callan's nursery and it looks like just the cutest little reading nook so love that now we're doing laundry and food prepping Jack's making Oreo balls I'm food fun prepping fact. my lunch and she's food prepping her lunch <laughs> Fun fact, uh, if you don't have a food processor or a grinder, we use the bullet and it grinds up all the Oreos really good. Makes little, little hack. I'm making egg bites for um, like a late breakfast through the week. They're my favorite thing to get at Starbucks, but I don't think Starbucks is very healthy. Or so I've been told. roller I love this thing I ended up getting one off of Amazon and it's been great for days like this but today is the first day to my new job oh yeah I want to take a sip of this coffee Jack is letting the dogs out now <laughs> Ready. I've also been loving my hair lately. I feel like it's grown so much overnight and I'm loving the way she's been coloring it. It's been super easy to maintain and then um, it has like my natural color but also like the blonde that I love. I've just been loving my hair but anyway I just got ready. I'm wearing a pretty simple outfit little flats and these trouser pants and I love them. They're small um, and they're a little loose but luckily they come with a belt so they work really really well. I feel like my mom could probably cinch them in just a little bit and they'd be perfect. And then just this baby tee and then some gold jewelry. I'm gonna grab my coffee and we're gonna go pick out Callan sleeping on the couch because he woke up at 2 a.m. 3 a.m. They're playing with a bone, that's what that noise is, but I am going to turn this on. I'm in Callan's room and I'm gonna pick him out an outfit. I think it's gonna be nice today, but not too warm. So I want something warm for him. I think this one is so cute for like a little beach day. Not today, but I think that's adorable. But I might actually put him in checkers. 
And then we have matching shorts. Cute. And these are actually from Walmart, you guys. Walmart's got some like awesome price points, but also just like cute little outfits. I love them. So we're gonna do this one. <laughs> Did you enjoy hanging out with your dad early this morning? Yeah, he's going to be really sleepy today. Yeah, your daddy's going to be really sleepy. Because you kept him up. Yeah. You kept your daddy up. It's a good thing you're really cute. Goody, 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 goody. Goody, 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 <gasps> you guys have fun in here. <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. Cutie cute. 